Okay, students. So let us now start with the next topic that is the design aspects of a sedimentation tank. Okay, uh, actually, uh, there are four uh, main important aspects of a sedimentation tank. Uh, let us start with uh, first one, and the name of the first aspect is detention time. Okay, so detention time. So as we all know that uh, uh, in a particular sedimentation tank, the water enters through one side and it leaves through other side. But before leaving, the water is allowed to settle for some particular time, right? So that particular time is known as detention time. Okay. So in other words, uh, the time between the entry and exit of a particular particle is known as detention time. Okay. So, uh, detention time, we all know that uh, discharge is given by volume by time, right? That is, uh, the unit will be meter cube per second. Now, if I want to find out the time, then I will write over here T. But uh, let us uh, give the notation T0 for detention time, right? So, this will be volume upon discharge. Okay, so this was about the detention time. Now, the second aspect is overflow rate. Okay, so the second aspect is overflow rate. Now, in the phenomenon of sedimentation, what happens is, suppose this is a sedimentation tank, okay, having length L, here is length L, height H, and with B. Okay. So, in sedimentation what happens is water is filled in the sedimentation tank. All the uh, sediments will be deposited in the bottom of the tank, right, in the bottom of the tank and the clear water which is uh, from the uh, and the clear water will be removed from the top, right. So, this is usually done in the clarifiers, right. So, overflow rate means the surface overflow rate or it is defined as the quantity of water passing through a particular plan area, okay, particular plan area, right. So, Q upon length into width, okay, and this particular uh, unit of this o surface overflow rate is meter cube per day per meter square or meter cube per second per meter square. Why? Because discharge is usually in meter cube per day or in meter cube per second. Clear? So, this was about the surface overflow rate. So, surface overflow rate means the quantity of water getting out of the tank per unit plan area. Okay? Then the third aspect is basin dimensions. Okay, third aspect is basin dimensions. Now, in case of dimensions, we have to find out length, width, and height. Okay, so uh, according to the design criteria, we have a particular ratio of length to width. Okay, so usually for designing a particular sedimentation tank, L is to B ratio is usually kept 3 is to 1 to 5 is to 1, okay, 3 is to 1 to 5 is to 1, right, and the width is usually not greater than 12 meters, right, and the height of the tank is usually between 3 to 6 meters, okay, including two things. First one is freeboard 
okay so free board is the empty space which is capped uh, above uh, the particular water level right and second one is sludge zone or sludge depth okay so this height 3 to 6 meter is including free board at the top and sludge depth at the bottom clear then the fourth aspect is maximum velocity maximum velocity to prevent bad uplift okay so in a particular sedimentation tank if the particular particle settles at the bottom if in a particular sedimentation tank if a particular particle settles in the bottom of the tank then due to the flow of the velocity it should not get uplifted right so that is the maximum velocity right and it is given by vd equals to under root 8 beta g g minus 1 into d upon f dash okay where beta is constant okay and it is taken as 0 0.04 for uniform particles okay for uniform particles and it is taken as 0 0.06 for non uniform particles clear f dash is known as friction factor and usually the value of f dash is between 0 0.025 to 0 0.03 clear yeah? so this was about the four uh, design aspects of a particular sedimentation tank okay Okay, students. So let us now start with the steps for design of sedimentation tank. Okay, steps for designing sedimentation tank. Uh, so you will be given a particular data that is uh, design a sedimentation tank for uh, so and so uh, amount of uh, water supply right they might not give you the design criteria for example what will be the detention time or what will be the flow of velocity right so uh, in that case you first need to do some assumptions you need to make some assumptions right so first let us know what the assumptions should be made okay so the first assumption that will be there is assume detention time okay assume detention time this particular time is usually five hours okay and uh, the design criteria says you can take anything between four to eight hours okay then the second assumption is velocity of flow velocity of flow okay so velocity of flow is usually 0 0.20 meter per minute okay and the criteria says you can take in between 0.15 meter per minute to 0.3 meter per minute okay so this was the second assumption third assumption you need to assume the depth depth of tank assume as 3.5 meters you can take anything between 0 to uh, sorry 2 to 6 meters or rather 3 to 6 meters sorry you can take in between 3 to 6 meters right and the fourth one is free board which is, which is usually 0.5 meters okay 
so these are the four assumptions that you need to make before starting the design of a sedimentation tank in case they have not given this particular data okay now we will move towards the steps okay so let us start with the steps so first steps first step involves finding volume of tank okay volume of tank so volume of tank will be discharge into retention time you will be already given the discharge in the particular data right so if you multiply it with the uh, detention time then you will get the volume of the tank okay then the second one is length of the tank length of tank so for finding out length of tank you have velocity of flow that is flow velocity into detention time right so if you will multiply velocity with detention time then you will get the length of that particular tank then finding out cross sectional area find cross sectional area of tank okay that is uh, b into h so that you will be getting by dividing volume by length right so you know that volume will be lbh and length is l so you will get the cross sectional area bh fine then the fourth one assume depth assume depth right so it is usually in between 3 to 6 meters right you will be assuming at 3.5 meters fine now you have assumed the depth then you can find out the width okay so next is find width so that will be area upon depth okay that is the cross sectional area upon depth okay then you may add freeboard right add freeboard and lastly you can check for sor check for sor this value should be between 12 to 18 meter cube per day per meter square okay so once again there will be four assumptions in case if you are not given any kind of data so first you will be assuming detention time that is 5 uh, hours right and this can be anything between 4 to 8 hours right But preferably take 5 hours then the velocity of flow 0.2 meter per minute which is again they have given the range again then depth of the tank again 3 to 6 meters you can take right and freeboard you can assume as 0.5 meter fine then you will be given already uh, the discharge of water required right so the uh, discharge is given so in order to find out the volume of tank you need to multiply the discharge with the retention time right then in order to find the length velocity into retention time right then for finding out cross sectional area volume by length you will get the cross sectional area assume depth and you will be able to find out the width okay because cross sectional area by depth is width and then add freeboard and lastly check for sor if the sor do not satisfy if the sor do not check satisfy then you need to change the particular data or assumptions right you need to change the assumptions and if the particular tank uh, suppose uh, they have given a data such that this satisfy this uh, sor does not satisfy then you have to write the design is not okay and you need to redesign right but if you are assuming then you will have to redesign it clear yeah? so that's 
all about the steps and the assumptions. Clear? Yeah?